Welcome back, everyone, to Third Street Reactions. It's Zach. Ha ha ha! I fooled you guys. This is Mailbag. And... It's me. Shane. I'm not sure what number this is. I'm I sure... I say it's number 11. Okay, maybe it's 11? Uh, it's the last one of the books. Yeah. So, Panda sent us these. And we might loop them all in the same video. Because, uh... Well, then it might be 10. Yeah. It's either 10 or 11. That no. being said, we're going to start. <laughs> How's your work week, Zach? Well, it just started today. Oh, yeah. So but by the time they get it, it'll be, you know, probably Saturday or Sunday. Guys, thank you so much for sending packages. We understand it's, like, we get to, like, hang out as friends, watch some of our favorite shows, and it's definitely hard work. But then you guys send us, like, presents. It's, it's interesting. So thank you. <laughs> All right, so we have hey. Starlight from hey. the boys. Yeah, holy oh, shit. And we have Huey oh. from the boys. Starlight and Huey. A little walkie-talkie in his hand and a set of keys. <coughs> okay. This is an amazing show. No, no. Just no, no. Uh, we will be reacting to the new season of the boys, and we might do the second season as well because... Uh, these guys haven't seen it, but we're yes. gonna keep we it here. like the boys, it's a very enjoyable show. The guy who plays Homelander is amazing. Yeah. Well, Zach? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Billy Butcher is the man, yo. And uh... This is Crowbar. Nice. Whoever sent these... So we got Billy, Huey, and Starlight. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you very much. Wait. Great show, great characters, great actors. Great Hell performers. yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Return label if you know we don't like it. <laughs> ah! Alright, so they're individually packaged Funko Pops. So this is. Whoa! Well, guys. Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. And just so you know, I'm pretty much done with our Suicide Squad movie reaction. So look forward to that. Yeah. And I wish we would have had these when we watched the movie. Polka Dot Man. Oh, dude, that, I think he's my favorite character. He definitely had some of the most memorable moments. Yeah. Oh, it's your mom! Yeah, and do you remember when he's like they're dancing in the club? Yeah, and his mom's dancing. He's such a him. weird relationship, you yeah. know? Oh my I god. I when showed his mom as Starro or whatever the hell his name was. Oh my and god. Showed her like yeah. Godzilla style. Oh yeah, got some blood sport. Oh, dude, he's a great character. That get up with the xenomorph like yeah. mask. And you know, like basically kind of a replacement for Deadshot, I haven't seen the first movie. Yeah. I just heard that this one's so much better. Well, Idris Elba is fantastic usually in whatever he's in. Yeah. And uh, a Dark Trooper, Star nice. Wars. and mixing that's, it up. And that's a nice looking figure, I have to say. Oh, uh, it's one of those sound effects. Oh, it is? You know, it's kind of like the Vader. It's got the bass. Oh, damn. Did not know that. Well, anyways, it's awesome. Thank you. Rat right. catcher, rat catcher too. Oh, dude, she was fantastic. That was she definitely was, an unexpected. Uh, she, she's kind of the, like how the do you say? Um, like the the emotional heart of the movie. Yeah, she was. Because she was gorgeous psycho, and she was. TV. Yeah, she was gorgeous and she like you know that whole thing with the rats and that scene at the end. Yeah. Which showed the flashback. Dude. Oh, and you know. Yeah. Peace, man. I love this character. You know, spoiler alert. I was heartbroken when he turned. Yeah. I, I think he did it for the right reason. I do know that James Gunn has, like, there's a series on HBO coming out. A Peacemaker? It's a series, yeah. He said it's basically until he gets to go ahead to do the next movie, he said it's he's treating it like the sequel of the movie. So yeah. it's he's kind of headlining it, but they're going to have probably other characters and stuff. Last but not least for this box. Why the fuck are you oh, anywhere, mate? Ravona Renslayer. Oh, you know? From Loki. Yeah. Ah. Oh. I mean, with Miss Minutes. So. Yeah, you got us stuff on we'll things. Everything. Uh, yeah, everything we reacted to. Yeah, I don't think you knowingly got us this stuff, though. At least for the Suicide Squad, but yeah, it was definitely cool. I love that movie. They man. bought us this so that they could say, "Hey, react to this." Well, we are, we are. So we did, and we're going to put it online soon. These are amazing. Thank you so yes. much. Very cool. I understand that sometimes these things are pricey, so you know, we just sincerely thanks a lot for just sending a bunch of fucking retards like us. Just toys to play with, you know. It's one of the re reason why, like, as growing up as friends, kind of united us because we grew up out here in the country. Nothing to fucking do except use your imagination. 
and I don't have any regrets, really, doing it, you know? Yes. Whoa. That was, Jesus, there's a lot of stuff in here. Zach. Oh, hell. <laughs> <laughs> yes! This, this guy <laughs> must be a pretty big fan. That is bad and, ass. Thank you kindly. I mean, so... One of my top five movies. I mean, it's a damn good one. I ain't got what time to say It's a favorite one. It? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> some bitches dug in deeper than an Alabama tick. Well, I mean, it's one of those movies that masters practical and special effects, and it's all about the story. It's all it's, about the characters. It's like that and Jaws are right in there in my in my top five. I mean, yeah, they're all some of the highest rated movies of all time, and for good reason. They're all amazing. I haven't seen Jaws, uh, and I, I mean, I've seen it, but I don't know anything about it because I saw it when I was like eight years old. Yeah. Uh, but I understand it's you know. That's up there. Great actors, performers. You're next, by the way. Funko Thor soda. Oh. It's a... It's a pop? No, there's something in it. You're supposed to, you're supposed to open it, aren't you? Fuck if I know. How do you open it? A little Thor. With his hammer. Hey, cool. This is this is actually pretty cute too, and oh, it's like a little challenge coin thing, like a pog. Yeah, I love that it came in this can. And uh, next, I mean, I can kind of see him, but probably to mix it in with my beer. Oh, Spider Man, far from home. Ah, oh, sweetness, damn stealth suit. This is when he's in Europe and he's to bring his costume, right? Yeah. But then, like, they flew it over there, right? I can't remember. Yeah. And by the way, and these are all being transported in like kind of like a protective type plastic case, so thank you. Yeah. Very thoughtful. Just reach in there, Zach. Just oh. hand you random one. No. Zach reaches to the bottom, up bottom, grabs a big one. Coincidentally, there is a big one in there. Jesus! Whoa! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> man! Look at that. That is so freaking cool. It's Grogu. We gotta open this. Right. I mean, I, I kind of want to open all of them, but we gotta open this on camera. Dude, thank you so much. Oh, shit. Don't the box. Okay, let's take, have a look at this thing. Can you imagine how cool it would be to have one of these little things? Oh, you mean like a reality? reality? Like, yeah. No, it'd be kind of a pain in the ass because they'd be eating all your other little ain't eat your turtle. Well, I guess he might. Yeah, he was eating the frogs. Yeah. And he's eating up one like, frog's like, the like, eggs. I know he'd be like sucking your turtle out of the shell. Lord. Well, this is awesome. And I imagine, you know, this wasn't a cheap uh, venture. No, so. I can't imagine. Thank you. Very cool. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Well, next time you'll see this, we're going to probably reorganize this a little bit. Some of the stuff I had growing up, I put on there. I might we might start cycling it out because we're not enough room. We're gonna have to. And we do have one more. I'm gonna open this right now, and it's Deadpool, and it's a keychain. There. Perfect. That's a hell of a great looking figure. And Deadpool, these are pretty funny movies. They are yeah. very enjoyable. The second one especially. Well, it's just interesting because I know him and Hugh Jackman won the team up, and it just kind of happened it was so late in the game, and he already said like, oh, "This is my last one." And I think it was good because I, I love that last one. I love when he shows up and shoots that version of himself. Yeah. From that movie. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. You probably hear my Filipino mom. <laughs> Are there a couple more? Oh, damn. Jesus. I mean, is this all by him? I don't know. I can't believe we have another box. Hope you guys enjoy the gifts. Love all that you guys do. I've been wanting to send stuff for a way, your way for a while now. Keep up the videos. If you guys do reactions that aren't primarily in English, you should give Alice in Borderland a try. It's eight episodes on Netflix and has an English dub from Taylor. Yeah, Taylor, Sue. So, you know, we've been talking on Instagram, man. <clears throat> Thank you so much, dude. Taylor, you're awesome, brother. For real. It's always in there. It was just a minute. Oh, man. Well, guys... Well, anyway. <laughs> Alright. You're looking, Zach. You're looking. I'm looking because it's a little bit of a pain in the ass to do it. No, it is. With that big box. You're right. Um, the Chucky can. 
It just pulls out. Oh, it does? Oh, ho, ho, look at that. It is, it is Chucky. Samurai Jack. Oh, dude! <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'd be really excited to like, have any of those type of figures. Yeah. Just because of the style, you know what I mean? Well, it's just, they don't make a lot of good Samurai Jack figures. They never have. They released a Jack and Aku Funko Pop set, mm -hmm. and the Aku looks really cool. Yeah. Never did get it, but... And uh, yeah, this Chuck, uh, another challenge coin, then it goes to this. Thank you so much. We'll fill them We need to bring Pogs back. Start Pogs. playing them on the channel. This is really cool. With the sword. He looks great. Yeah. He's damn good. You know, like I said, like my kids watched the Ninja Turtles CG, I think it was a 20... Remind me of Jurassic Park when it closed. Oh, that's great. Customs can even check it if they want to. Let me see. Go on. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> He's like giggling. <laughs> they can even check it if they want to. He's <laughs> yeah. It's the Krang guys. They kind of remind me of his face. Like when yeah, they have they their skin on. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. This is a beautiful figure. So, thank you. I mean, they all thank you for everything. Okay, see. Oh! Shit! The Shredder. It's Shredder, dude! Nice. Oh my gosh. That is uh, fortuitous. Yes, it is. Get did you can. intentionally get it, or did you just... No, it's the last can. And it's, of course, the 1980s Shredder. This is Craig. Report to me at once. He looks great, that to say. That looks badass. Oh, that's Just cool. the armor and the blades and shit on it. Yeah, that that is really freaking cool. Features very well with that kind of a figure. Slap him up there in the middle. Crossbones oh. and Captain America. Oh, okay. Civil this War. is the guy that you said you liked. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I like the actor. You may sound like I like that character. <laughs> well, that fuck the character. Just, yeah. Yeah, he's an yeah, asshole. Cool. He's an cool. asshole in the show or in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Battle damage. Yeah, that's badass. He used to battle damage his own X figures. I never really had the guts to do it. I don't want yeah, to fuck them up. Um, yeah. Mostly Dragon Ball Z stuff because... Well, I remember you and Eric would kind of do that too. I think I think he did. Yeah. 20th anniversary? Before we make any assumptions. Oh, oh okay. Oh, dude, cool. Let's open those up. And there's a pin in there. Oh, hell yeah. Got a Charles Xavier pin. Oh, like, one thing that's great about those movies... It's not Ratchet always a story. Stewart. It's like all the cast. It's always it's cast so well. They were the casting was done very well. Dude, cast, Matt, cast oh, direction. For me, Days of Future Past is Wait. the best X Men movie. Uh, Logan for me is a close second. Mystique as Wolverine. That is and Jennifer Lawrence. Logan from Wolverine X Men Origins. Okay, that not the best one. <laughs> That's not, but he looks really cool. Because yeah, he's got the vicious sideburns and the Vietnam getup. Was made for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've lost weight, but it's all it's all good. This is actually a gorgeous shirt, though. Very cool. Yeah, thank you so much. I'll go and throw it on. Why not? Oh, you said it, not me. It's more like Jamie's shirt. <laughs> rag he, on the man when he's not here. I rag on him when he's here, Zach. Yeah, too. Yeah, <laughs> true. Dude, this you sent a lot of stuff, man. Oh yeah, T Taylor. Did. Dude, thank you. Taking up the whole box. Oh man, look at that. Don't tell me, I haven't seen it. Them on the bantha. Oh, okay, now I see it. That, that is cool, I say that's worth opening. I don't know if it's okay with you. I don't have room for all this shit on the shelves. Rearrange. That's a good problem to have. I, I thought it I thought it happened eventually, and it happened a little sooner than I thought. That's pretty sweet, Taylor. That's cool looking. The, the, de the detail on the, the Mandalorian. Yeah, and the Bantle is great. Which is so heavy, too. Fuck yeah, that's heavy. Maybe the shell. Yeah. That is so cool. Look at the child. He looks great. He does look good. That's gorgeous. Beautiful piece of art. Look at that. Oh, I got Broly. Yeah. Very cool, the original Broly. The legendary Super Saiyan. Oh, yeah, from the original movie. That is his original look, isn't it? It's an enamel pin. I don't know where they're going with these pins, but they are fucking huge. Yeah, that, that would be a pretty big pen. It's a humongous fucking pen. I mean, it looks badass, but. Yeah, that's really cool. Like, it's still a huge pin. 
Yeah, I mean, I, Broly was a great villain. Like goddamn Thunder Badge or Thunderstone. Yeah, in, in the non-canon movie, he was great, and that was a cool movie. Kind of went out unceremoniously, but the way he came in Dragon Ball Super, it was fantastic. And the Dragon Ball Super Broly film was some was, of the best Dragon Ball. It was we've had cool as hell. Time. It was beautiful too. It was, and he was actually great in it. He was like very he, sympathetic character. And now, like he's going to be sticking around, from what I understand. All right, so Super Saiyan Goku. Yeah. Told you. Yeah. Told you there was. Go and stand on it. Well, there's like a little stand, too. That is freaking cool. Dude, thank you so much. When he turned Super Saiyan in the priest saw that was like one of the greatest things I've ever seen in my life. I used to I get out of the woods you, uh, when I was 12 years old and scream. You quite to, fond of it, I remember. Yeah, hoping to God that would happen to me. He never did. <laughs> Have you ever seen that YouTube video of that fucking kid talking about turning to Super Saiyan? And he's absolutely serious. He starts... Uh, Rolling his eyes in his head and shit, starts screaming. I'm assuming it doesn't work. No, it does not. <laughs> but you know, it just—it's ridiculous. Yeah, he's—he's—he's he's, he's a fool. Sweet deep. But I love him, but he's a fool. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's Jack Nicholson's Joker. Oh sweet. Very. Cool. I haven't seen that one in a long ass time. It's good. Though. I'm a big Jack Nicholson fan, so. I mean, the faults that that movie has are usually made up for me with just his performance. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes! It's from the art museum, too. He looks awesome. He listens to a lot of prints mm -hmm. and uh, defaces a lot of artwork. So. Jackie Chan and Rush Hour would be absolutely furious. Yeah, and that's where the, uh, the girl. I think she takes his flower and sprays him with it. No, no, it's not the flower. She just throws water or something on him. He's like, I'm melting, I'm melting. And then he pulls his hands away and he's got the, where his white actual skin yeah. is coming through. It's a pretty cool scene. Where does he get those wonderful toys? Fantastic. I need to see it again. Thank you so much, yeah. And a Fanta clown man. So if you like Fanta, I guess that's your clown. You know, I, uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's not my favorite soda. Um, but it's... It just kind of seems out of nowhere. But... No, but thank you out of the way. Yeah, thank you. And a great character, which you haven't quite seen, uh, enough of her yet. But Ahsoka. She grows... Well, that's her from The Mandalorian. No, th this isn't her from The Mandalorian. Um, Is that her from the cartoon? Yeah, it's... in The Mandalorian, she's got white sabers. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, guys, if you guys don't know... Zach and I are currently going through Star Wars The Clone Wars, and we'll obviously be doing Star Wars Visions, and you know, I'll take it through Rebels. We've done The Mandalorian as well, which is, we're a pretty big fan of, so check those out. Hey! Oh uh, yeah? I'll tell you Evil what. Boo. He was cool. Majin Buu Saga isn't my favorite, but he was great, and there were some of the coolest moments. All like, the, well, the Boos are very entertaining. Yeah, they are entertaining. It's cool how they absorb the personalities of the Kais that they absorb. Yeah. So... Really cool. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you. He's a cool looking figure. Yeah. This is, I, dude. I can't believe how much you spent on this shit. Yeah, this is a lot. I mean, I'm just looking at everything, and dude, we just appreciate the hell of you. We do have one more. Uh, one of the great Star Wars characters, Darth Maul. Absolutely. Darth Maul is great, and I know you know he comes back because you've seen Solo. Yeah. And he's great. He's definitely better than he was in the movie. Why? Well, he just didn't say anything in the movie. What are you talking about? He says many things. Not very much. Tatooine is sparsely populated. If if the trace is correct, I will find him quickly, Master. <laughs> yeah, three fucking lines in the whole movie. And then he grunts at the end and dies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still fantastic. We, we uh, got pretty big hard-ons for the character when we were younger. Oh, yeah, he's because cool. Because of how cool he looks and the fact that it was Ray Park. Yeah. Actually, he, that was kind of the role that brought Ray Park to us. Yeah. And what I love, similar like we were excited to see him as Toad in X Men. And that yeah, very good. Yeah, he won. The, <laughs> he won the best in that. No. What I love about him, and I've been to Star Wars Celebration. He's on stage, and he just says like, "I got Star Wars, saved my life." My parents, I told them I wanted to be a martial artist, and I wanted to star in movies. All this stuff. They said, "You can't be a martial artist, star in movies." Well, Bruce Lee did. I think that's kind of the dream, but no one really does that. You know what I mean? Except Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. Yeah. How many white guys do you know? Steven Seagal, Chuck Norris. Yeah. Okay. I, I 
I, it's I, two I, for two. Two and two, man. I can name a. I know, get a me out of the way, man. I'll give you I ten know, Asians. We the big two. We just had a fucking movie come come out with them <laughs> in the Marvel universe. Um, no, but and the fact that like he got that phone call for Solo, and he says like I've been That's I've been now Ray Park. I've been training, three keeping in shape for years waiting for that phone call, and uh, you know it's just funny. He's on his Instagram. He's always training at his house. He's waiting for that phone call. And he always goes to Star Wars Celebration. He's always at Star Wars events, like officially at official events, because they invite him and he talks to fans. They do have him come in to do some mocap choreography for Star Wars and Clone Wars for some important stuff. Well, did they? Which is really cool. Was he aware of Lucas's original plans for the character? No. Like the trans, I, those manuscripts that were released later on. I doubt it. Where Maul actually would have been more prominently featured later on. It's kind of like the crime syndicate yeah. level. I, I doubt it. I mean, but like... It they, makes sense then if he was holding out for that phone call. That would be great. I mean, there's a... Ver like in the Clone Wars, we see like what Lucas is thinking when it comes to like his plans for Maul. Like mm -hmm. you can see like he intends for Maul to kind of... He's an important player in the Clone Wars. You know, he doesn't just come back and he's just a guy. You yeah. know what I mean? He's, he's a lot deeper. But uh, yeah, I mean, Taylor... I, this is over the top, man. Yeah. But we really appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. We don't take you for granted, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Panda. Love you guys. And this is nuts. And thanks thanks to you guys. We have to absolutely reorganize our fucking shelves. Yeah. Now trying we, to get more. Now we have work to do. Yeah. Thanks. So. Guys, thank you so much. If you watched this entire mailbag, I hope you did because it's awesome. We're really excited. We yeah. appreciate the hell out of you. And the reason why we do this is because you guys... And just thank you. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you, Panda. And guys, like and subscribe. Hit that notification. Leave a comment down below. Taylor, you're nuts, man. It's a hell of a thing.